Uh, people that are considering radiant heat, let's start with remodels. If you have an existing house, um, you have a, let's say that you have a basement that's unfinished, you can always go from underneath the floor, uh, put in your tubing. Uh, hopefully you put in extruded plates, helps keep the temperature lower. Um, and then th that will service or heat up the uh, you know, entire first floor if you put the tubing in there. Um, on the second floor, it's gonna be a little bit more difficult because you need to either open the drywall or you need to open the, you know, pull the floor off and, and redo the floor and put the tubing on top. So there's a few things that you're gonna have to tackle there. Um, obviously on new construction, you can do whatever you want because you're starting from scratch. Uh, another situation where you'll see a lot of these systems being installed would be an older home. Uh, on an older home, you may already have you know, radiators and a, and a boiler. Um, and if you want to go the in-floor route and have nice warm floors, uh, you can put your radiators and you can, and you can put your tubing in the floors. It's a, a prime example of, of uh, a good application for this. If you're converting from radiators over to in-floor, uh, you're going to put use PEX for the in-floor portion and then you're going to use copper for your primary and secondary. A lot of radiator systems have uh, uh, high enough flow where you do not need the primary secondary piping. Um, when you're dealing with in-floor heat that is zoned out, you may have uh, smaller time frames of less flow. The boiler needs to have the consistent flow, so that's where this, this uh, closely spaced tease comes, in, comes into play. The boiler just feeds the water back on itself, so you would need to re-pipe the, the, you know, the piping around the boiler if you're going to go over to in-floor heat. You know, just doing a remodel where you're just wanting to heat one bathroom, it's a little bit too small of an area. Uh, and it's excessive, the, the cost that goes into this um, really wouldn't justify the heat on that. They make products, uh, you know, electrical products that you could just do for a one, single zone. It's a challenge, every one of them is a challenge, and uh, that's always exciting to go to work when you have a challenge. For more how-to videos and the latest innovations for your bath and kitchen, please subscribe to our YouTube channel.